What's up YouTube for tonight's video we have a full Dratini evolution team now This is my 300th theme team video. I did actually mention I was putting this one up I just want to say guys. Thank you to all the people who do watch and support my videos like whether you're from 2009 or 2016 I just I wonder if there's anyone actually from 2009 still subscribed to my channel That would be insane. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching all my videos and supporting them um, like you guys like obviously really like these videos and I enjoy doing them too. So thank you. I just wanted to say that one. All right, guys, put your theme team suggestions in the comment section below as usual. Let's get to this one. It was fun. There's plenty of bloopers, so make sure you stick around for the whole battle too. Okay, so we have a Smeagol lead here. I'm leading with the god himself, Dratini. All right, <laughs> so Smeagol like transforms into me at the start of the video. Um, I'm like, what the hell's going on here? So I've got the uh, T-Wave on the opposing Smeagol, well, Dratini now. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the rap here. Rap actually misses. Now this is my, uh, this is like Satan. This set, right? It's like Thunder Wave, Rap, Attract. I gave it, you know, I wanted it to be female for that because most of the Pokemon you'll find are male um, by percentage-wise. And I actually have Confuse Ray on this now. You basically, w when you're under all three of those things, you have about, God, you, you I'm probably about 10 to 20 percent chance of attacking. So it's very, very low. Um, it, it's a really, really... Obviously, it's got its counters, but it's a very, very troll set. Speaking of trolls, I'm going to get U-turned by the ninja set, taking me down to my Focus Sash. I just ran that on there so I could get my first, you know, Thunder Wave up. Then my... Maybe my Rap or my Confuse Ray. Not Confuse Ray, sorry. Supersonic. Supersonic has absolutely awful accuracy of like 55 or something really, really bad like that. So it's not the greatest one there. That's probably another flaw with this set too. Anyway, it's very fun and I got to troll a lot of people. All right, so we're going to get another uh, transformation into Dratini here. I've got my uh, I've got my Rap and Paralysis up happening on the Smeagol. Now, I'm going to go for the Supersonic. It hits. I'm like, yes, this is sweet. So I've got the... Uh, the problem was I couldn't actually go for the Attract here because we were the same gender. So we have the Parafusion happening. So it's about a 30% chance for the opponent to uh, attack here. And what Rap does, Rap actually traps the opponent in so they can't actually swap out. And they're taking damage as well at the end of you know, the round. So you're basically stockpiling damage from Rap and hitting itself in confusion and extra Rap damage, that sort of thing. All right, so I go down to Rap. Oh, that's probably the only time I ever say that in my life, but I do. Um, <laughs> so that's my first Dratini down. Okay, bringing in another god. This is uh, the, the shiny Dratini now. So I thought I'd... Um, to make up the team. I was going to do three of them, but I thought that's a bit rough. So I thought, you know, two Dratinis, two Dragonairs, two Dragonites. Okay, so going for the extreme speed there to try and finish off uh, the Smeagol. That's not going to work because Provast is going to swap in. At least I broke it sturdy. Going for the Thunder Wave now. This is a Thunder Wave set with three attacking moves. I've got Outrage, E-Speed, and Iron Tail on this. Okay, so Provast is going to go for the Dazzler Gleam there. I actually like running that on my own set because you can hit fighting types too. Iron Tail actually hits here. I actually went for the defense drop and I got a crit instead. So, you know, can't, you know, can't complain with that one. All right. So I'm going to go down to the Dazzling Gleam here. So that's my Dratini down. My second Dratini. Okay. So two of my Dratinis down. I, I need to start getting into this battle. All right. So I've got Shiny Dragonite, which I absolutely hate. So that's why it's called Pickles for because I don't like pickles either. And they actually pretty much look like the same thing. Like, they couldn't have done a worse shiny color. It's just my opinion, but I just think it looks like ass. All right, anyway, so I'm going to go for the wrap here. This is a bulky set. Now, wrap is quite an iconic move on the Dratini Dragonair Dragonite line, like, especially in Gen 1, if you have played competitive before and that. Anyway, so we have the Smiggle. This is, guys, this is disgusting. There's like, I can see two of them on the screen. Oh, wait, there's three. There's one in the sidebar. So, anyway, so I'm going for the wrap here. Uh, that doesn't kill the Smiggle. So, I don't. I know that I've got Toxic on my set, and I know that's probably going to go for that. So I thought, let's go into Dragonair because I've got Shed Skin. Now on that Dragonite set, that was that Sky Dropping, Roosting, Toxic, uh, Rap set works very, very nicely. Um, a nice Trapper too. Okay, so my dra uh, Dragonair gets oh, <laughs> so many dragons at the moment. So my uh, Dragonair gets uh, Poison there. I've got Shed Skin. So that's cool. Going for the Ice Beam here. Um, I, I don't think it could have done much to me. It could have gone for Roost. That's probably the only other move it could have gone for, but I'd say Ice Beam would have killed. Uh, so I'm going for the Choice Running Choice Specs on this. I get the Shed Skin Heal too. I've got Draco Meteor. I've got Ice Beam. I've got Fire Blast, and I've got Thunder. So quite a fun set. Then the Troll Jazz comes in and uses the final Gambit on me. I'm like, I knew that was going to happen. Like, seriously, 
I I started using a lot of Final Gambit users like on so many Pokemon that uh, people use them on me all the time just to like piss me off. It's it's hilarious. Okay, so Scary Bug is going to come in here. I'm going to bring in Pickles. Uh, I've already exposed this set already, so I thought I might as well just see what the mascara has got. Guys, I'm a little bit intimidated by this set, but it's fine. All right, so here I was thinking I could go for the Toxic again, or I could go for the Wrap to try and trap it in. But um, Big Nose comes in here, and he's going to absorb that Toxic quite nicely. All right, this is where things are getting interesting. Going for the Wrap here, there's not much I can really do. I've already seen that it's got Dazzling Gleam. Um, I didn't even mean to rhyme that either. So this is a bulky special defensive set here. So I've got multi-scale as well, so it really doesn't do too much. But after that, you know, that initial damage, I knew it would do quite a lot. So Rap's doing some good damage there. Now, I only have Sky Drop on this thing, and Dragonite is too weak. It can't even lift a freaking pebble with a nose, so I can't do anything at all. The only thing I could do is rely on Rap's damage to go and uh, just go for Roost. So Rap is slowly whittling down Probopass's health. So I'm going to go for the Roost here, trying to Roost up my health. Uh, like I said, there's Toxic, Rap, Roost, and that, that was basically, and Sky Drop. So I, I, I find it hilarious that a, a dragon, a big-ass dragon can't lift. Uh, uh, obviously, it's it's based on weight. I'm well aware of that. It's just the uh, reality of things. It's uh, quite funny. Anyway, so going for the Roost again, uh, trying to get my health back here, trying to stall this Probopass out so I don't die to it. Okay, I'm, I'm just, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to get critted soon. I know it's going to happen. So I get critted that time. That does loads of damage there. And uh, I was like, oh, no. So here I was like, okay, I only need to go for a roost this time. And guys, I actually misclicked and pressed wrap. And I did... The health bar didn't even move. What's going on? So uh, Dash of the Game is going to take my Dragonite out. And I hate fucking pickles. All right, so that's my Dragonite down. Um, that was the worst misclick 2016. So at the moment, I'm... I'm really down here. I've only got two Pokemon left. I need to get back in this game. Okay, bringing in Dragonair. Dragon Rush hits. This is hype. And I'm going to take out the uh, Probopass there. This is a very bulky Dragonair. It actually, mega, it's mega, mega bulky. Um, it's got Marvel Scale and Everlight. It's got Max Health and Max Defense. It's also got Rest Sleep Talk, which, uh, which helps out with Marvel Scale there. And it is so, so tanky in defense. They're very, very tanky. All right, going for the Dragon Dance now. Even with a couple up, it doesn't really hit super duper hard there. So uh, the Mascarin's going to go for the Bug Buzz here. It's about a three hit KO with Everlight. I've got really nothing in defense. I'm just relying on my base and Everlight, of course, there. Um, I wasn't sure if Mascarin would have Quiver Dance either, so I was trying to get some boost up for that. All right, so it's going to go for the Bug Buzz again there. So as I said, it's about a three hit KO. I'm going for the Dragon Rush, and it misses. It misses. It just... Salt. Okay, so I'm going to go down to the Bug Buzz there. So I've only got one Pokemon left, guys, which is the last Dragonite I needed. I really needed to uh, get back into this game. Okay, so I'm going to go for the Hone Claws here. Now, this is a quite a decent set I like to run on my Dragonite. Now, this is Hone Claws. This is Dragon Rush, Earthquake, and Extreme Speed. Now, I've got Max uh, Speed and Max Attack. I've also got Salak Berry as the item and Multi Scale. Okay, so since I'm pretty much guaranteed to hit with Dragon Rush now and not going to miss, it also has a flinch chance too, which is interesting. Okay, so Scary Bug is going to go down there. Um, that, that thing intimidated me a lot. Right, so there's two Pokemon left. Uh, <laughs> so when Swalot comes in, I'm like, oh, I, this better kill. Um, I, it, I'm not sure what it's going to be. It was going to be like a bulky set or a troll set. Anyway, it's going to go down to the Earthquake. I was, I was lucky I did get a Home Claws up. That thing is super duper bulky. All right, so I knew when Deli Boo come out, this is going to go for a freaking Hustle Ice Shard. And I was like, I'm definitely not going to live that shit. Go for the Extreme Speed, and it crits. I'm not sure if that one actually mattered, but uh, very good game in the end there. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Peace.